What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be doing a live stream and unboxing of just a bunch of fragrances really. Uh, maybe a couple more than what I even have in the title. But let me go ahead and start off this live stream on Instagram as well, going live. And we're live on Instagram as well. So for those of you watching on Instagram, well, I'll announce that a little bit later because Insta this isn't recorded for Instagram, but it is recorded on YouTube. Um, forgive me, my laptop. I have got a lot of stuff on my table, okay? Just came back from Vegas about two days ago, if that. And uh, yeah, I just planted out a bunch of frags. Uh, and when I came back, I saw a couple of fragrances that came in the mail. This new JPG Lover. Yes, Gentlemen Society. I already did a first impression on this in the Frankfurt, Germany. Of course, Frankfurt Airport. They have all this. Was it Frankfurt or I'm not sure exactly where, but right off the bat, we'll, we'll talk about this one. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys that this is better. It's an improvement uh, to the original for sure. Uh, Borderline makes the original, I don't want to say not worth it. But for me personally, if I'm going for the scent profile, that one's lighter. We'll talk about it. We'll look at the notes and everything. What's going on, chat? What are you guys rocking today? What up, Rico? How you doing, bro? What's going on, Brian? Yep. Good to be home for sure. Ben, Salim, how you doing, bro? Ramadan Mubarak to all of you fasting. Uh, I have the 20 fragrances that I would wear for Ramadan, which I need to push up. But hopefully it'll come up. Jordan, what's happening, bro? Um, so... Ajman's Mukhalat al Shams. That's what's up, man. Some funky stuff. I believe it, man. I believe it. So, a couple more fragrances that we're also going to be talking about is my last haul from luluatelmusk.com. Uh, so, I got these from luluatelmusk.com. I have a coupon code to that fragrance website as well. They sell a bunch of niche fragrances in the States. And uh, I wanted to show you guys the way this guy packages his stuff, like the way the brand packages their stuff is really outstanding. So, customer experience. A1 for sure. So we'll go through the boxing. I think it's worth it because of how he packages his stuff. I did not take off this shipment label though. So let me do that really quick. So a couple of fragrances in here, Middle Eastern niche. I honestly don't remember which ones I got, but I know that one of them is the new Ibrahim Al Qurashi, the other diamond. So that's black diamond incense, which reminds me it has latent exclusive vibes, a bit different. And these two that I got are a bit different as well. Uh, what up, Peter? What up, Jason? How you guys doing, man? Let me show you guys the website that I'm talking about, and we'll go from there. So the coupon code I'm trying to make it standard for everywhere is Aromatics for this website. What up, Borachima? How you doing, brother? God bless you, bro. Love you, man. Seriously. Love you, bro. Just your presence here is good enough for me. Thank you, bro, for the generosity as well. So like I was saying, the standard for my coupon codes is usually going to be Aromatics, Aromatics 10 or Aromatics 5. For most of the, the platforms, it's going to be Aromatics. Um, so niche fragrances that you can save a lot on. What's up, Notary Giant? How you doing, bro? Good to see you as well. Uh, conferences and all. Yeah, bro. And all you guys sent to explore. That's what's up. But you know what? There is something important to note, you guys. Like a lot of these um, events that you see me go to, some of them are not open to the public. Uh, like these are like... They're open to the public. Let me rephrase that, or let me say it more accurately. It's open to the public, but they're designed for distributors and retailers. They're It's commercial. It's not uh, events that you should go to or you can go to, really. You shouldn't, honestly. But rather, it's like we're going together. Honestly, every time I turn on the live, it's uh, I'm going with you guys. That's what it is. We did a lot of exciting stuff in the Vegas. The Vegas... Uh, live event. I think the last one, I just started saying, hey, who wants to be in this fucking giveaway? <laughs> and I was putting the pressure on brands to say, hey, you want to get in on the giveaway? They can't say no. I'm going to start doing that. I'm genuinely going to start doing that for more events. Like, hey, I'm doing a giveaway. <laughs> you want to include something? Oh, man. I've got many more than enough fragrances. I'm not even in it for ownership or collecting. You guys, I genuinely don't care. I love this, though. I love the passion, being able to be like an encyclopedia in a sense like you're looking for a fragrance god willing you know i'll have the time to review it <laughs> before we die man <laughs> but anyways i'm laughing because the vegas thing was really funny it was really funny it was putting a lot of brands in the on the spotlight uh, but it was a great experience and what truly makes it great are those live streams for me personally being able to interact and take you guys you know, make you realize and see that it, it's just real people, man. It's real people, real brands, real ownership. So anyways, enough soft talk. What up, Santique? How you doing, bro? Which brands are better at making dupes in your opinion? Uh, Duer Alexandria, in my honest opinion, and I don't, 
if Dua, you're watching, or Alexandria, you're watching, I'm sorry. I apologize to both of you. I genuinely believe, in my experience, it's always been Alexandria. Sorry, not sorry. These are my, this is my findings, okay? From the alcohol quality to the burnt hair experience that I had. Dua has some hits, but Alexandria hardly has misses. Hassan, God bless you, bro. Thank you for the 299 super chat, man. May Allah bring it back to you tenfold, bro. Thank you very much. Allah just means God. So my God is your God. It's the same, you know, ilah. It is what it is. Anyways, I got festival night bottle today. Great scent. Yeah, that little rocket, man. That's what it is. The Dumont live streams was so eye-opening. I saw potential. Yeah, bro. Me too, actually. Uh, I couldn't grab any more, but they're underrated. They're underrated. Nitro Red is a fucking banger. And Dumont uh, Axon Intense. Hopefully this is not bugging you guys. If it is bugging in the chat, let me know and I can situate this. Let me know if this is bothering you guys at any time and I'll move it away. Arman, I'm doing well, bro. How are you? Thank you for the heart. Love you, bro. Uh, thank you, Santik. I appreciate that, bro. You look like you might be a content creator as well. If you are, bro, good luck to you, man. Um, Jupe Ohm, Hassan, I might have gotten a bad bottle once upon a time. I had one and that smelled like plastic to me. I never touched them again. Alhamdulillah, Skizi, Ramadan is going, but you know, I was traveling, etc. So it is what it is. Irish coffee just arrived. I can't figure out what it smells like. I don't know if it has to grow on me. It's very boozy, bro. You're going to get a lot of like this alcohol uh, vibe, like whiskey, essentially, and uh, dry down or a base of coffee. So it's not like coffee centric, but that one is different for sure. Um, Duma Mysterious, and that line has a few great. They their quality of fragrances is, is A1. A1. Even if you don't like the scent profile, it's nothing that's gonna be like ew for me personally. For me personally. Um Borchima, God bless you, bro. Thank you, man. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get started with the agenda today. Uh, for those of you that are watching on Instagram now, your chats are not popping up in the platform that I'm using. If you want to be, you know, if you want to get involved with the chat, you do have to watch this on YouTube. So my apologies, but I hope you guys are all doing well on Instagram. I see you guys now. Okay, just open Instagram. Let's see. Gucci Oud Intense or not. Okay, we got 30 in the chat on Instagram. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Santik, I see your comment there. Zisu, thank you for the love. Habibi, thank you. Uh, Omar Zaman, what's up, man? Shoot me a DM, brother. Osama, nice. Nice emojis, bro. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> uh, thank you, bro. Thank you, Armaniac. Thank you. All right. So here we go. Since that I picked up, we're going to share the screen from this website right here. And it's called Luluat al Musk, or for easy pronunciation, Luluat al Musk. Okay. And he's got quite a few brands, but the brands that we're going to be talking about today is Ibrahim al Qurashi. And I believe this is the one that I picked up. So the first one is going to be that. Oh, let's look at the way that they package this. So this is the inside of the box. It's nice, a ribbon, some custom wrapping paper. Open up the ribbon. You get a little card with a note thanking you. I like this. I, I really do like customer experience. That's what I'm all about. You get a little envelope. So a thank you card, some custom tape. Even the tape is in, in the brand. Luluat al Musk. Sorry for the crinkle. You get their website or their store bag, which is really high quality. You could always reuse this. I know my mom used to love using these for like re gifting purposes. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know, bro. But, anyways, then we've got Cullen and Iris. That's this one right here. Look at how big this thing is, bro. And it's only 130 bucks. Use the coupon code. You get the, I believe it's 5% off, 130. So it's like 125. Not bad. And then Reef. Yes, we have a Reef fragrance. And this is called, uh, we'll look at it together. Okay. And on the inside, you get these little styrofoam. Packaging is awesome. Packaging is awesome. All right. So first fragrance we're going to be looking at is called Iris, Cullinan Diamond Iris. He's only got nine in stock left. This is a part of the new releases from them. It's got notes of grapefruit, pineapple, bergamot, jasmine, patchouli, cedarwood, oak moss, pine, and iris. 200 mls. These don't play. So I have an idea as to what this might smell like. This is what the packaging looks like. 
take off that sleeve and it opens up like so. I can smell it already. And there's the big, big ass bottle. On the inside, you've got the Ibrahim Al Qureshi papers, you know, heritage. On the inside, there's the cutout, it's soft box. You should throw it away. You should throw it away. I know a lot of you probably don't, and I used to keep them as well, but you should probably throw them away. And then on the inside, there's the cards. And on the card itself, though, it's pretty nice because it has the notes. So top notes, grapefruit, pineapple, bergamot, jasmine, patchouli, cedarwood, pine, iris. And it says, a revelation, or a revelation of beauty we presented to you in our aromatic collection inspired by the depth of Oriental civilization, where the past and the present blend, blend with an aromatic masterpiece that embodies it. Press it. Let's see what it smells like, okay? Cap is on there. It's plastic. It's a cheap plastic cap, but it does snap on there. I okay, decent, but I wouldn't recommend it. On one side, you see Ibrahim Al Qureshi there. Let me close this so we can have a bigger screen. Uh, Ibrahim Al Qureshi is written there in English, and on the other side, it's Ibrahim Al Qureshi in Arabic. Okay, here we go. Right off the top, I'm getting this. Um, yeah, definitely a cheap, very, very cheap cap, but that's not, you know, that's the brand itself. Right off the top, I'm getting. Hachibot vibes, right off the top. Hachibot, blockade, mind games, that kind of fragrance. Uh, a musky version of like a Ventus. And you guys know these atomizers, they don't freaking play, man. Yep, that's exactly what this is. It's like this more floral take on the whole Aventus DNA. This is like Hachibot, much closer to Hachibot. Very subdued in the whole pineapple vibe and more of this musky wet woods but you get in a 200 ml concentration this smells like a spitting image of hachibot actually hold on because with the other ones i find them to be more twists okay hachibot does have a bit more of an undertone of spice believe it or not considering the fact that hachibot is turkish versus ibrahim al qurashi which is middle eastern i'm surprised Yeah, there's a little bit of like this stank in uh, Hachibat. And I think it's coming from this vetiver. It's definitely like this more pungent woods. Definitely more pungent woods. But uh, it's maybe like 15% close or off, I should say. Maybe even 10% off. Hachibat in a 200 ml concentration and cheaper and it smells very strong. So if you're looking for Hachibat vibes, you know, Hachibat, you can't vibes. I'm going to say vibes. Okay. Because that's essentially what it comes down to. But there are so many fragrances in the world that everything is going to remind you of something. I'm sure this one's going to have its differences, but it de does have its similarities as well. Um, it's closest to Hachibat. And if you enjoy those types of vibes, now you can get it in this big old bottle for about 125 bucks. Not freaking bad. Beast mode performers is usually what these are. And not only the performers, but the atomizers on these are absolutely ridiculous. So with something like Hachibat, you can find it on discounters for around 130 bucks. And that's about 100 ml, if that. Whereas this one, 200 mls and retail price is that. I've got it all over my hands. So pretty good, pretty freaking good. Hachibat surrounds itself around this very similar uh, Aventus DNA, black currant. More so around the black currant than the pineapple, but you get those vibes uh, with woods, oak moss, wet type of woods. Uh, it's, it's good. It's good. This one claims to have pine in the base as well, and it says iris, but I don't get it at the top at all. So not freaking bad. And right in time, this is the perfect season for a fragrance like that. Excuse me. For me personally, Hachibat doesn't really perform that well. It lasts like maybe seven hours and it doesn't project for anything like at all. This one, I can smell it in the air in its entirety. So pretty cool. Yes, Gage. What's happening, man? Son of the day. Uh, Ra'id Silver and Qa'id. That's what's up, bro. Will you share this website link? Yes, I will definitely do that. But it's called luluatalmusk.com. Let me type it for you. What up, Vicky? How you doing? Luluat, almusk.com, code, aromatics. And this should apply to the entire website. They've got Gissel perfumes. They've got it all. Uh, do you have any idea where we can get Altera dupe? So Altera is supposed to have been or supposed to be available by the end of March. 
Um, if it's not available by the end of March, I'm done talking about it forever. <laughs> I truly apologize, you guys, but it's uh, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. You guys will see when you pick that bad boy up. That shit outlasts my Altair. Outlasts it. I remember spraying it on my first trip. Uh, where was it? To was it Saudi or Miami? Not sure, but I sprayed my little purse, little, like man purse that I wear. <laughs> that I put my I put my license, everything in that bag, and I sprayed it, and I could smell it the entire trip. The entire trip it was there. I've not tried Montclair fragrances. No, bro. Sorry, man. Okay. Qaf is worthy or Hawass. Which one do you prefer? Uh, the Pettigrain and Qaf loses me. I don't like Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce that much, nor Percival. But if you like Percival or Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, you're absolutely going to like that one for sure. All right. First impressions. Let's go. Another one. I swear to God I didn't open this. But I came home and my dog absolutely destroyed the box for Gentleman Society, and she tore into this. All right, I'm 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 training her, I'm testing her out for um, uh, being out of the crate when I'm not home. So JPG lover, uh, let's see if I can find it. Oh wow, let's see, let's see. Let me open. I even met the owners of Fragrantica, by the way, at the convention. Speaking of, because I'm opening it now, um, what is this one called? Is this Lover Paradise? This one is called Le Mole Lover. Okay. But yeah, I met them. I met him, I should say. And all of his associates and the people that work with him were there as well. Obviously, you know, because they do a lot of the um, forums, etc. They're pretty cool. All right. So Le Mole Lover. This is the newest flanker that just released. I got mine from Europe. I believe I don't know but I got it shipped to me and um, I've been out of town for so long I just came home and found it there luckily so vanilla fresh spicy amber animalic I have not smelled this one yet warm spicy balsamic this sounds like it's right up my alley honestly but there's so many freaking JPG flankers I never really jumped on the thing but now I'm committed to it honestly and I, I just honestly want to review and see what what's new um, the rating for this is atrocious, 3.26, and I'm sure it's by a lot of people who have not even sniffed it yet. But vanilla, white pepper, ambergris, this reminds me of a lot of fragrances that are coming out now that are becoming hits. Uh, add a little bit of orange blossom, and that's kind of the whole vibe of Altair, uh, and maybe some cinnamon. Vanilla, peppery, spicy, and ambergris, or ambroxan. So let's see what this one's going to compare to. A couple of the other JPG flankers. I haven't sniffed personally. I haven't sniffed any of these. Popeye, whatever. Like I said, I never got into the whole... A JPG trend because they've got how many flankers now? Maybe 30, 40. Um, so yeah, let's see. All right, let me not even read the comment section. So here we go. Okay, it looks like a, a tatted, tatted bottle. It's still pretty see-through. It's glazed or gloss. Feels pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's see. Here we go. Good atomizers as usual. Okay, right off the bat, I'm not blown away. I was expecting that, to be honest. Um, it does have the, the signature DNA in the background, but more fresh, spicy, more fresh, spicy, and vanillic. Smells designer, smells designer. To my nose, nothing, nothing new. Nothing new. I, I actually enjoyed the uh, green paradise or paradise garden more than this one. Getting more vanillic, ambery, has that signature lavender DNA in the backbone. No, man, this is absolutely nothing exciting on it for me personally. I mean, you might like it. It's kind of giving me vibes like boss bottled, like the OG. Give me OG boss bottled vibes. And I'm not the craziest about boss bottled. Except the elixir. Love the elixir. Yeah. Meh. Okay. I'm probably going to do a giveaway with this one. I would do a giveaway right now with this one because I'm not that turned on by it, honestly. But I want to wear it. Because there have been quite a few fragrances where I'll get it initially and I'll be like, eh, it's forgettable. This was actually, honestly the same case with Altair. When I first sniffed, I was like, ah, I'm not moved by it. But I, I smelled it on somebody first. And I asked him what he was wearing, and he said Altair. And I was like, oh, okay. All right, now we're talking. Wore it again, actually lived in it, and I fell in love with Altair. So could potentially be the case. And as this one's drying down, some of that green fresh spice is going down a little bit. 
and it is getting more vanilla and ambery, more my speed, more my speed now that it's drying down. So I'll give it more of a chance. Opening, about a six out of 10. Honestly, I'm not moved by the opening at all. For now, for now. Could it potentially be better? Yeah, it could potentially be better. Eh, it is what it is, man. I wouldn't be like crazy to go and run and buy that. Like it's not a must have. It's nothing new for me personally. Please check out Majid Al Oud perfumes. I have all of, a lot of them, bro. I still have fragrances from um, Saudi. We will crack into all of those, God willing. I've just been busy at it, man. Events after events. Loving it. Ordered Nitro Red today, straight from Duman. That's what's up, bro. Texas, their official retailer in the United States is perfumebox.com. My code has been officially bumped up to 10% off, you guys. Perfumebox.com. Use code Aromatics. Those Dumont fragrances are all 10% off right now. Uh, it's kind of like this Ramadan special that they wanted to run, but I think it's going to be long-term. But they don't just sell Dumont fragrances. But that's the official U.S. Uh, website. Shufi, <laughs> what up, Irrelevant? Powdery scares me. Most wears people think it's like baby powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not all. Listen, I like powdery fragrances, but I don't like ba baby powder fragrances. I find like MFK's uh, Oud Satin Mood baby powder. I don't wear that. I think it's some people like it. But once I saw that it was like baby powder, I was like, meh. Um, Shadow by F.A. Paris is excellent. I do have it recorded as well. But I do think that it's the best quality Ombre Nomad. This is the best quality Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad. Uh, there's a little bit of a taboo in the uh, YouTube realm on covering Louis Vuitton fragrances. They're pretty, yeah, but it's good. What up, Jason? How you doing, brother? Afnan Ornament, Axon Intense, Rehan Corium. Proud of you, absolute. Proud of you, absolute. Which one performs and projects? Andy with the questions, bro. You're like, a <laughs> all right, let me see, bro. Um, I, oh, 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 okay. For the... For that DNA, I would go with Axon Intense, bro. I would genuinely go with Axon Intense. It smells the most expensive out of all of them. Uh, secondary would be Afnan Ornament versus... Secondary would be Proud of You Absolute. Third would be Afnan Ornament. Rehan would be last because of the leather. Rehan Corium is stronger with you leather. Um, but that one is strong and it performs and projects as well. But I answered first off of Scent Profile. Okay, not going to take too many questions until we're done with the actual video, and then we'll get into the questions. I hope you guys can understand. But anyways, there's another couple of fragrances that I'm going to be talking about, but not really focusing much on for this live stream, just because there are full videos. But I'll give you guys a little inside scoop on what's to come very soon, since it's been some time since uh, we talked. There's so many releases. You guys, I feel like there are some impressionable ones and some that are not really worth talking about much. What up, Hidden Gems? How you doing, bro? What is your take on the SpongeBob? Every man must have the SpongeBob fragrance. That's what I think. I don't know, bro. I never sniffed it, honestly. All right. So, Lemon Lover, let's go back to Lulet al Musk. And we're going to talk about the next Reef fragrance. Honestly, guys, I've gotten to a point now where it's like I don't really like to segregate. There are definite, you know, um, realms of fragrances like Middle Eastern niche, and then there's niche, and then there's designer, and then there's the cheapies. But there are so many that I'm just putting them on the same playing field. This smells good, or this smells bad. That's where I'm at at this point, honestly, because that's what we should be after. It's just, does it smell good or not? So I'm going to be integrating a lot of fragrances. Like, it really doesn't matter if this is 30 bucks or this is 160 bucks. Does this smell good? Good enough to, like, you know, warrant this? Or, you know, don't talk about it. That's how I feel about it. But And there's a lot. There are a lot to talk about that do smell that good. All right. So next one we're going to be talking about is called... Let's see. Can I find it here? Mm, okay. I am terrible at reading this. It's called Tuwek. Tuwek. Where is it? Arabs Collection. Oh, okay. It's the Arabs Collection. Here it is. The Arabs Collection. Okay. It's like when people say, Arab Perfume Review. <laughs> Arab. What up, and Thomas? How you doing, bro? I love you guys in New York as well. <laughs> I like how you buttered me up and then asked me a question, bro. <laughs> uh, Rehan Ocean Rush or Pacific and why? Okay, 
Pacific will get you more compliments, bro. It's that bubble gummy sweet. It's more compliment worthy. Ocean Rush, you could wear it every day. It just smells like fabric softener, like you clean clothes. Um, so either way, it'll be good. But if you're after like getting a little bit more attention, Pacific, Pacific. All right, let's continue on. Farid, there you go. There's your answer. Farid, if you're into Oud. So this is what the bottle looks like or the box looks like. It's called the Arabic or the Arabs, Arabs collection, Tawaiq. That's what it's called. Okay, Reef Perfumes. I've got quite a few of their fragrances, which they also do sell. I've got, for example, number 33. I've also got number 19. And then there is the Yellow Summer. Yellow Summer is actually a really good one out of all of those. So the box looks like this hexagonal design. And here's the actual bottle. So Arab. This is in Arabic. It says Arab. Let me show you guys really quick. Except it's not spelled out like it. Like this is the letter A. Yeah, we have a A. Okay. And then this is the letter Ra, which is like our R. And this is the letter Ba, which is a, a B, basically. But we don't type like that or we don't write like that. We write from right to left. So it would be written together, grouped. Anyways, enough. So there is some matte finish to this one. It's a little bit rubberized or matted out. Uh, on the back, you see there's nice calligraphy in the Arabic as well. I love Arabic calligraphy. I think it's actually very beautiful um, and one of the, you know, a beautiful piece of the heritage for sure. So description, the name Obaya. So which one is this one? Abaya, Abaya, Abaya. This is not it. So where is this one? Hmm. Did he sell out? I mean, how long have I been gone? <laughs> oh, here it is. Tuwek. There it is. All right, cool. So description of this one, in, or the notes of this one, include magnolia, jasmine, and vanilla. Uh, French-style fragrance, and these are only 100 mLs. But they are, concentration is parfum. So a little bit more than eau de parfum. Let's see. This is the fragrance we're looking at. 120, code aromatics. You'll save. But is it even worth it? Let's find out. Strong atomizer. Look at this tester strip. Hang on. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Creamy white florals and vanilla. As simple as that. But I detect a little bit more than what they're writing down here. There's definitely got to be more. I'm not sure if I'm getting like a, an actual leather note or there might be like a leather accord drawn from this. The white florals in itself. So let me look up Reef Tuek and see their actual notes for this one. So floral, vanilla, white floral, citrus, and powdery. They're only writing down jasmine, vanilla, and magnolia. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I mean, if you like white florals, creamy, vanillic, I'm just more so looking to see if I get this lotion vibe as well. Hmm. Magnolia, jasmine, vanilla. That's all they're giving me. Okay. I get this leather accord from this fragrance. Leathery, um, thick, indolic, fatty jasmine. Not really on the jasmine. You can, you know, for, for a lot of jasmine fragrances that I personally enjoy a lot of, sometimes the ones that I enjoy a lot of is going to be the one that has like this natural, like uh, nectar sweetness to it. This one doesn't really go in that territory. This one has more of like this fatty leather accord to it as well as the vanilla and magnolia. So a thicker, leathery, jasmine-based fragrance. Not bad. Nice white florals. And this one is called the Arab Tawek. So pretty feminine, this one. I think unisex because of the addition of that leather. But if that's what you're into, then consider picking that one up as well. Reef 33 is fire as well. Yeah, bro. For sure. What up, Fonzie? How you doing, bro? Okay. What else have we got that I want to talk about really quick? Um, oh, Gentlemen Society Extreme. I mean, this one is, is excellent, bro. Um, I think this one is Gentlemen Society Extreme. I think this one is going to go down in the books as one of the like sexy fragrances every man should have in a similar realm as like Diorome Intense, uh, Valentino Womo Intense. This is a good one. And if you like those fragrances, you absolutely should get this one. You absolutely should. I sprayed it on. I wish the longevity was better. I wish the longevity was better, but this is brand new. 
I don't see, I don't know if these, the whole maturation maceration applies, but I hope that it does get a little bit better in the longevity department for sure. But the opening of this is intoxicating, intoxicating. I get the distinctive like society DNA, but there is a little bit more of like this um, richness to it. The iris is definitely thicker. Uh, the Palo Santo is there and it's louder. It just seems like you took the original and you really just compacted it or compacted it and, and made it louder, made it definitely made it louder. So the notes include coffee, orris root, French narcissus, a lot of vetiver. Okay. A lot of vetiver. I'm getting still Palo Santo. I do get the, the Haitian vetiver, but you know, the vetiver in here is, is pretty creamy. And I think it's the combination of the vetiver and the sandalwood intoxicating opening just off of the atomizer. This smells amazing. Initial impressions for this was a 10 is a 10. I still like it a lot. I like this one a lot. I think it's extremely sexy. And I was pretty, um, I'm glad. I'm glad because of all the releases. Like some of them were nines, eights, et cetera. This is solid, the opening. Performance is where it takes it down. So maybe not a perfect 10 because of its performance. But the scent, scent profile, man, it does something. It, 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 this has some addicting qualities to it because it does something where it's a little bit crisp and bright in the opening. I don't want to say fresh, but it does have a fresh aspect to it. And it really draws you in. And then it just finesses with like this rumbling cream and woods and orris and thick uh, orris and sandalwood. I really like this stuff. I just wish that it lasted longer. But in its defense, every day, that's how you spray it, boys. <laughs> but I will say that, man, this is so damn good. That's not what I will say, but this is so damn good. The opening of this is a freaking 10, man. Freaking 10. But this is my scent profile. This is what I'm into. I personally like this scent profile more than I do Diorum Intense. That's the honest truth. I like this scent profile, this one right here, more than DHI. Um, I just wish it performed. I just wish it had the better performance. But in its defense, like I was saying, uh, every day that I rocked this one or tried it when I was in like the uh, duty freeze and traveling and stuff, I kept spraying other shit on. So I'm going to give this one a proper wearing along with the, I mean, I'm not really that excited about this one to be honest. So I will be wearing it, but it is what it is. But Givenchy Society Extreme, I don't know if it's available yet in the States. Let's see. Macy's has it. Hmm. Yeah, Macy's hat, 6.7. Oh, wait, no, this is a original. Is it available in the States? Society Extreme. Yeah, they do have it. Macy's does have it. 139, not bad, man the first like extreme that's not 180 bucks right i respect them for that honestly um this is not a cash grab though this fragrance it's um honestly i don't even see it as that a cash grab or not cash who cares like does it smell good or not that's what i see it as this smells freaking good good enough to get the big bottle so yeah i love this completely like i don't think i'll i'm, I'm going to wear the original anymore because if I want this scent profile or this DNA, this just does it better, period. Does it better, period. I think the original one will be easier to wear during like the spring. No, no, this is a great transitioning fragrance and even during the winter. And even during the winter. So that one, maybe summer nights, maybe. But yeah, I love it. What up, Hawaiian? Uh, what was the note breakdown on Nitro White? I don't know yet. I don't even have the bottle yet. That was the first time I saw that one. But it was like a creamy version of the red one. Think of the red one. It was like creamier and sweet and more ambery. So damn good. Um, Scandal Pour Homme, absolute. There's a new one. Uh-oh. Scandal Pour Homme, absolute. Man, I can't keep up. <laughs> there is. Holy smokes, bro. I cannot keep up. It's like, do I go to events or do I just do that? No, no, I'm just playing. I would definitely go to events instead. So this is the new one. Woody, fruity, warm, spicy. Oh, this sounds like a, a killer combination, bro. Uh, the whole warm, spicy, fruity, woody. Let's see. Mirabelle, chestnut, sandalwood. Oh, Lord have mercy. Three notes. <laughs> um, definitely going to be grabbing this one. Ooh, compared to Stronger With You, absolutely. What? Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. We'll be picking this up. Hopefully, my guy has it. We'll see. Released today in Germany. Just released. Damn it, man. If only I was still in Frankfurt. 
Yeah, this is great. Just out of titanium, what about it? It smelled like sauvage to me. Honestly. Just out of I don't know. To me, when I sniffed it, I sniffed it very briefly. Gentlemen, oh, Givenchy Society Extreme compared to Le Mal Elixir. I like Society Extreme more. Scent profile-wise, I like Society Extreme more. Uh, Longevity-wise, projection, I think Le Mal Elixir is going to be more. Today, I wore this fragrance right here. It's called Swiss Arabian Sharaf Oud Tanka. And this is an extremely refined, polished, glazed, almond, uh, velvet, velvet Tonka by BDK, basically. Um, a lot of Tonka, almond, cinnamon, ambergris type of vibes. I mean, very strong, loud, projecting, long-lasting, and very unisex as well. Not bad. I think Joma Shop has it right now for like 30 bucks for a tester which is pretty cheap. And you guys know, Sharaf, they don't play. But yeah, this is a pretty good one. Even the bottle is a little bit more upgraded on this one. The indents, the cap. Yeah, Swiss Arabian has some good ones. I think that's it. I want to make sure that that's all I wanted to do before we go into the questions. Oh, let me show you guys another one. You're going to be seeing the videos on this one coming out very freaking soon. But you should see a little bit about this here now since it is available. And I think it was, it's pretty funny. <laughs> um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What's the other one? Uh, if I remember, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Oh, okay, here. Where is it? Where is it? Where the hell did it go? Okay. So, Fragrance World has Hayati fragrances. And this video is supposed to release very soon for the Hayati. Hayati Royal is 1 million lucky. And it's actually the best one for me personally. Better than the one that was done by Latafa. That was one. Number two, I was able to find Hanan. I think it's on... Uh, wow, it's raining really hard. That's crazy. Um, Sharaf Oud Tonka is sold out everywhere. Joma Shop has it. Joma Shop. I'll put it in the description. Yeah, Joma Shop has it. Oh, they sold out of the testers already. Holy smokes. So I put a link for it in Instagram, and I guess they sold out. Um, damn. But anyways... Yeah, it's really good. I think they still have pieces on TikTok as well because I, I clipped it on TikTok. Anyways, so we're talking about Hanan here. I think it's available on benadirfragrance.com. You guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is like jungle juice. Like think about going to Jamba Juice, like literally going to get some smoothies, etc. I remember this place. I'll never forget it. it we, I was getting smoothies when I was in Ocean City, Maryland, and it was just straight up like acai berries or acai berries or whatever the hell it was, mango and some melon or something or guava or papaya. That's exactly what this smells like. Jungle juice, plain and simple. Tropical vibes, I freaking love this stuff. And despite the bottle, guys, you can get away with this during the summertime, especially now that it's coming up. It's called Hanan, H-A-N-A-N. -A -N. Absolutely intoxicating. If you like jungle type of fruits, papaya, guava, passion fruit, that kind of stuff, I think it's absolutely intoxicating. Oh my God, man. No, no, seriously, like I can smell the fuzz and the skin of like the... Uh, yeah, it's really good. And if you layer this with like oud, you can layer this with a freshie. You can layer it with literally everything and anything. Hanan. Hanan, I swear. If you guys like passion fruit, if you like tropical vibes, it's a must-have. And it's actually pretty unique. That's why I actually really like this one and want to suggest it heavily because of the fact that in this realm of fragrance, more cheapies, there isn't anything that's tropical. At least that's coming to my mind. Yes, there's Qaid al-Fursan Unlimited. That's more so coconut, which is also a great fragrance, believe it or not. When I first started with the... Oh, and then there's... Okay, here we go. This is something I'll tell you guys what like is in the same category. If you like fragrances like Honor and Glory, you're going to love Hanan. It has that similar unusual, although Hanan smells more natural. It smells more natural. But Honor and Glory, it, it's in that same family. But I love Honor and Glory, and this one, I love it too. So guys that can wear Honor and Glory, you could absolutely get away with Hanan. Um, another one that I wanted to talk to about. Okay, speaking of Latafa and stuff, you guys, these just came out. Okay, but there are some certain things to talk about. Bam! Wait, what? Did Assad's just get rebottled? No, no, no. This is Fragrance World, okay? So we've got some Fragrance World competition. A little bit of competition is good. What's going on, Persephone's dad? Good to see you. Miss you too, Shema. How you doing? Uh, God Intense, I don't have it yet, bro. I don't have it. Yeah, Brian, it's legit. I love you, Daniel. Thank you, bro. God bless you for the super chat. Love you. Would you recommend for someone who loves... Louis Vuitton, Meteori, and Azaro Chrome. So you like those old school barbershop-y vibes. 
bro let me see what i can get you on uh so meteor 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 i'm not crazy about azaro chrome though okay i can get you on something in that realm let me see what i've got i will not forget i'll suggest something i'm sure it's gonna come to the i'm sure it's gonna click honestly bro do you have suits i don't know if you don't like the tuxedo vibe but consider the tuxedo vibe if you have it i'll still keep it in mind and i'll, I'll answer soho by super is a whole different level i love that stuff man it's really good hawaiian punch i hope you enjoy it bro okay so back to these these are fragrance world versions of the whole Assad look so the one thing that i noticed immediately is the fact that these colors they don't come off so that's a plus on that the other thing that i noticed is that the caps are on there very heavily um it snaps onto place the second thing i noticed is the atomizers much better than the Assad's or what do you even call these Assad's. let's just call them assets okay and the other thing is the opening of this is much, much thicker and, and uh, uh, more polished. Less alcohol and straight juice right away. So this is the thing. It makes sense. And obviously, it's going to make sense because of the fact that they've had more time. And as technology advances, production is going to increase, period, plain and simple. So this is essentially like consider the whole strawberries and cream vibe. This is it. Creamier, more strawberries. -ier. Yeah, it's thicker. It's denser. I mean... Like I said, man, it's had more production time, et cetera. So just Wardi is better. It is better. It is better. I think that the Latafa fragrances, the whole lineup deserves its respect because it came in like a wave. It set a wave, which is excellent. And they should be proud of that, right? They sh I think they should be proud of that because of the, the whole wave they set. But at this point in time, this is definitely better. Now, buying them together is going to be redundant. But if you're looking for the better option, this one is better quality, plain and simple. The next one is going to be the Just Eswed, which is just black. And this is, you guessed it right, man. Sauvage Elixir with a little bit more, um, uh, with a little bit more. I'll get to your question, Mr. Crypto. God bless you, bro. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, do you agree? There is one by Mason Alhambra. It's called, let me see. Mason Alhambra, it's called Gri, I believe. Greece, yes, G-R-I-S-E by Mason Alhambra, okay? Triple Traders has it. It's $29.99. You can use the coupon code, save 10% off, or wherever you find it cheapest, bro, go for it, okay? That's that one. Santal Noir, let me see. Santal Noir. Uh, Santal Noir. I don't know a dupe of that. Or even something that gets close to that. I don't really, I'm not crazy on the less exclusive. But if you like that, I think you're going to like Santal Royale by Guerlain. But it's a little bit more affordable, but I think it's the best one from this lineup. Santal Royale. I highly recommend you check that one out, bro. Santal Royale. Or you could try the, that's it. No, that's, that's the only one I can think of, honestly, bro. I hope that helps. And to the gentleman who wanted the Azaro Chrome, I'm still thinking about it. Don't worry, bro. Robert, I'm glad you're liking the Rex, bro. That's all that matters to me, bro, that you're enjoying it. Uh, Imperia, last, yeah, I get at least eight hours. So, yes, it wouldn't hurt to let it sit for like two weeks. Revisit it, bro. I went to a funeral with 13 and a half sprays of hypnotic oud. Who else did you kill, bro? <laughs> Sorry for your loss, man. Sorry, that was not good. Oh, brought back the dead. All right, you're joking too. Hey, <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, greetings from Palestine. Love you, bro. Give it a hype, bro, so we can find it. Rayan, tobacco, and cognac, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, so where can I buy original and cheap fragrances? A lot of places, man. Check out my description in any of my videos, my link tree. There's so many links, etc. One of the fragrance uh, websites, there's so many websites, bro. Just go check them out, and you'll find almost everything. So, yes, Enigma is fragrance world. By the way, you guys, I don't want to say it yet. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. I think Enigma Un, we'll talk about that later. Okay, so... Just Eswed is essentially the Eswed DNA, but it is stronger, period. Plain and simple, it's stronger. But there's another one that does Eswed as well. There are two that are competing, and I really loved it. But this is this is an excellent fragrance. Okay? And then lastly, it's called Just Anabi, or Just Anabi, or Anabi. Uh, although that means grapes, this is more cherry. This is like Tom Ford lost cherry, but not as... Wow, man, this is so damn good. You guys think of like ice cream trucks. They give you those slushies and they just pump you the um, the corn syrup of cherry. That's what this smells like. So it's not even like lost cherry. 
It just smells like cherry snow cone. And for that reason, it makes it more unisex. More unisex than Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. I wouldn't personally wear Lost Cherry. This one, I would. So cherry snow cone is what this smells like. Perfect for the springtime. It's called Just Hanabi. And I think these are going for like 30, 35 bucks. Check them out. I think Triple Traders has it. Benadir has it. You guys know the, the, the squad. Aromatics. Save some money if you're interested in any of these. And I think they do have a blue one, but it was not included in my last haul. So these are excellent fragrances. Check them out if you're into anything that I said. But the Anabi, the, the what's it called? The cherry one is something new. It is something new, in my opinion, in my opinion, for the cheapy realm. What else am I looking at? By the way, there is another Sauvage Elixir clone that's been going under the radar or flying under the radar for quite some time. And then I finally opened the box before I traveled. And I was like, what the hell? This is another Sauvage Elixir? It's this right here. It's called The Legend by Fragrance World or by Atur Al-Alam. This is Sauvage Elixir. I was like, what? Seriously? Funky looking bottle, though. It looks like it's strange. Plastic house comes off. And Sauvage Elixir. Let me spray it. And this one lasted Sauvage Elixir, Sauvage Elixir. And this is what made me realize that we need to talk about Enigma Un. This is a good one too. The legend. This is not as spicy as Enigma Un. You know, fuck it. I'm going to tell you guys. I think Enigma Un is Roja Apex. I think it's Roja Apex. And I'll tell you guys the logic behind that, okay? So... This one right here that I just cracked into does smell much closer to Sauvage Elixir. Enigma Un opens up much spicier. Now hear me out. Apex, Roja Apex, is like the niche version of Sauvage Elixir. If you haven't sniffed it, if you like Sauvage Elixir, go get your nose on Roja's Apex, okay? Um, but the thing with the Roja Apex is it's spicier. It's more distinctively aromatic and spicy. And so the other day I went and I sniffed Apex, and I had Esed. And guess what? It was close to Enigma Un. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, man. The opening, at least, I could say it's spicier than Sauvage Elixir. Yeah, I'm getting more aromatics. Even this versus the legend itself. This We're, we're treading into, like, uh, OCD territory here, you guys. Um, for the average nose, they're going to smell them and be like, okay, they're close, whatever, blah, blah, blah. For me personally, I find that uh, Roja's Apex is a niche version of Sauvage Elixir. It's it's very close. And this is not as spicy as Enigma Un. So that's why I believe this one to be closer to Roja's Apex. Try them out for yourself. If you already own it, yeah. This is spicier than, than even the Legend. So that's a general consensus as well, is that Enigma Un is a spicier version of Sauvage Elixir. And then that made me think, isn't that Apex? Isn't that exactly what Apex is? So yeah, go sniff it. You don't have to buy Roja Apex. You can go to uh, Neiman's, Saks. So that's just my honest opinion. Yeah. Also, they have the new coffee fragrances. So let's take a look at that really quick. As it dries down in Igma Un, it starts to settle and level off and get much closer. But the opening is where it's like, I love it. I love it, period. But then again, I love Roja's Apex and Sauvage Elixir. So um, where is the new coffee fragrances? I think Triple Traders has it. Hmm. Where are the new fragrances? Oh, they're not. I thought they were already. Okay, I guess not. Okay, cool. I just see three coffee frags. Hmm. I know it's different fragrances, but you had only one to choose. Esed or Demont Ultimate. You're going to get more wares out of Ultimate. You're going to get more wares out of Ultimate, bro. Ultimate is strong enough to go through the winter time. It's fresh. It's bubblegummy. Um, whereas Esed, you can't wear it in the summer. You can, you can, but not high heat. Ultimate, you can. Vertex, it's not that strong. 
I don't get more than like five hours with it. But it still smells good. It smells close to Apex as well. Or yeah. Which is better smelling for you? All around well balanced, more balanced is gonna be Swavage Elixir. More complex is gonna be Apex. But still, as this one is drying down, Enigma Un is it's definitely getting closer to the original Sauvage Elixir as it's drying down. But the opening for me, like it's like Apex. But what's good conduct when going to stores to smell the colognes? Honestly, there shouldn't be like they make you feel weird when you go sniff fragrances. Do you need help? No, I'm just sniffing. And I understand it. I think they make commissions, etc. But um, but then again, it's like, you know, a lot of them are there to make the sales, the the, bro the products, the bottles, etc. So I would say make it a mission to go and sniff like five to eight. You don't want to be that guy that's over there like uh, sniffing all of them. Um, go sniff them all, bro. <laughs> Just switch up the sacks that you go to. <laughs> no, you don't want to be that guy, but there's a balance. All caps. I love it. <laughs> Fragrance World Nazih Silver. Yes, it's Boss Bottled Intense Twist. Eau de Parfum as well, by the way. Fragrance World Nazih Gold. Yes, that's uh, 1 million. I love them. I have them. And I made a video on them as well. But it just hasn't released yet. These are the two Nazihs. Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum. And then this is the 1 million lucky Hayati Royale. And the Golden Oud. Now, if you want to try 1 million Golden Oud, that Nazah Gold smells ridiculously close. Um, and I think you can find that in Benadir. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, filled with Baraka has it. And he has it for £39.99. Pounds. It's coming from the UK. He does ship to the United States. You can use my code aromatics, filled with baraka.com. But also Fragflex has it as well. And I think with him, it's buy one, get one 50% off, or buy one, get one 15% off with my code as well, aromatics. So if you wanted to go on to Fragflex, you could get both of them and get the 50% off. It seems like it's a little bit higher. It's 53 Canadian. But you buy when you get 150, then it becomes worth it. I don't know. It's weird. I don't set the coupons. They do. So it is what it is. Ultimate Axon. Axon Ultimate Eddie. It is more expensive, though. Okay. So where were we? I think that's about it. I think that's really all I wanted to talk about. There's a lot coming. Oh, there's another one. Let me see if I can find this for you guys. After this video, I'm going to go to, um, thank you, bro. Thank you, Persephone's per <laughs> dad. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think after this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find out where you can get them at the cheapest prices, and I will update the description. So if you guys are interested in any of the fragrances that I mentioned, I will be putting them down in the description for UK, Europe, all that stuff. I think I'm working for my brothers and sisters in Philippines. We're also going to be getting a retailer that sells a lot of this stuff as well. It's in the works. And then God willing, next step will be India, inshallah. Nelson asks, is there any Sauvage elixir clones with the same longevity? Honestly, bro, the original is going to be the best for that one. That one, it's like the clones will get stupidly close and ridiculously good, but nothing is going to be it, okay, in itself. I will say... I haven't worn just Aswad yet. I haven't worn it yet, but I did wear this one, Ghaith by Khadlaj, and it's really good. It lasted the entire day, okay? But I'm going to be wearing the Aswad very soon as well. Old guy looking for a fierce clone. Ahmed Al-Maghribi, cough. Just don't cough. This one's stronger. Last longer all freaking day. You need like two sprays and you're all set. Day one subscriber, please don't visit. What's happening, man? I remember you, bro. But jokes aside, your hustle and grind made me appreciate your content. It was a good investment. Thanks, bro. Love you, man. I appreciate that, bro. Thanks for being here since day one. Um, I think within the next two weeks, I know that they're all getting shipments per the last conversation because I'm getting overwhelming questions about liquid brune. I know we're all waiting for that one to be available. 
And um, that's the last they told me. Oud Aswad. By who? No, it's called Just Just Aswad. That's by Fragrance World. They're new launches. I believe, oh, that those are going to be available next week. Those are going to be available next week. And there you go. Rude Nejd. Rude, oh, Nejd, bro. Stanky Rude. Be careful with that one. Jabal Anur is nothing spectacular, but I will be reviewing it soon, though. I, I wasn't in a rush for it because it was nothing spectacular. Oh, but do you guys, this, though, this is called Beverly. This is such an underrated clone of Byerly. I think it's called by um, Parfums de Marley. And it wasn't really that popular of a PDM fragrance. Bayerly, I think it's called. Because it's woody, it's a little bit spicy, aromatic. But that's my speed, man. It's got a lot of cardamom, vetiver, and guyac wood with resins. So this is like Middle Eastern smelling AF. Like even the original Bayerly. Here, let me show you guys the original, what we're talking about. And I think Ben Adir Fragrance has this one. And I'm surprised... He still has this because he's had it for a long freaking time. And this smells really freaking good. But this is what you're going to get. And it's a very resin dominant fragrance. But if you're into those vibes, if you're into like Ramadan, and this is really good. A lot of cardamom, a lot of warm resin. It's incensey, ambery, resinous with vetiver. So it's this is very good. It doesn't smell cheap. The scent profile of this, if you like Ebon Fumé, you're going to like this. That's what. That's it. If you like Ebon Fumé, you're going to like this. There is a pungency to that vetiver, though. The vetiver is pungent. So, But that's saying a lot for a cheapie, to even expect pungency from a cheapie. Uh, in my opinion, pungency from the woods, it, it could be bad smelling, though. So I'm not going to say that pungency means good quality. No, no, that's not, that's not the truth. But the way that this one smells is more expensive. Period. Plain and simple. It's 24 bucks on Benadir. It's cheaper than uh, that with the code. So it's like 22 bucks. This is good. It's worth trying if you want to get your nose on a scent profile that's like, it's in, it's churchy. It's church vibes. It's synagogue, Muslim, uh, freaking holy temple, whatever, whoever you are, okay? Uh, if you're into those vibes, this is exactly that. Let me show you what it looks like. But please do make sure you're into those vibes that I'm describing. Um, it's like a bon fumé with cardamom. So incense um, holy incense vibes, a little bit of spice, um, and vetiver. Underrated. Underrated. 25 bucks, man. So, yep. That's going to be in a video very soon. We're going to be talking about that one. I have the Carlisle here as well. Carlisle one is pretty damn good, but I like personally Perla d'Or by Baruge. I think the quality of Baruge is through the roof for that one. Welcome to the family. I'm sorry, I'm going to sabotage your name, bro. <laughs> I'm going to try it anyway. Aonix. Aonix. Okay. Welcome, bro. Thank you, bro. I love you for that. Please make a top 10 designer niche that's still worth buying because there's so many cheapies that get closer, even better than the original. That is exactly why I made the Clone War series is to clear out all the ones that you don't need. But I need to make another episode. Um, I'm going to do a forum or a little poll on the community tab after this as well. Suggestions of next Clone War. What do you want the next Clone War to be? And the one that gets the most overwhelming responses, that'll be the next episode. So be on the lookout after this video for that poll. And also, I'm not going to do a poll. I'm not going to put selections. I'll let, I'll let it be open and free. And I'll do whatever the people want to see, whatever you guys want to see. And um, as well as update the description. So let me suggest something for the gentleman that was talking about the Azaro Chrome. Um, for Azaro Chrome, honestly, I think you might enjoy... Something like Percival as well, but it's not as, hmm. I think you'll like Ocean Rush by Rehan. I think you will like Ocean Rush, bro. It has Aqua de Jo vibes, the original. Pretty inoffensive, very inoffensive, actually. Inoffensive, it's clean, it's not like, it's modern, 
and classic at the same this you cannot you cannot turn anyone off by this i don't want to spray it on because i'm going to ruin the gentleman's society but there's no way you can offend anyone it's really good fresh slightly aquatic not overly aquatic clean yeah this is good rehan ocean rush bro that's what i would recommend personally and nashama vintage radio and why and nashama uh it's very bold i like very bold fragrances it just kind of like takes some of the notes and really concentrates and focuses on like that plum the juiciness of it and the projection and longevity is all freaking day that stuff is better than the original and nasham is better than the original paragon um for me personally black phantom clone war i didn't do a black oh shit we got to do that i don't like that one i don't it's like bakhur incense i don't like it smoky a lot of people do a lot of people do though me personally i don't have you tested utur al alam muhib i think so somewhere here somewhere here bro um but i will say this is their terry dermes clone and it gets pretty close it's called tor de horse but you can't find it so that's why i haven't really been talking about it tor de horse by paradise if you find it it's good if you find it it's good that's all i have to say herod clone war I don't think there's many many clones of that. I want I want something where where there's at least three. But Herod, there is Alexandra fragrances. We could always bring them. Alexandra kills it, man. They kill it, bro. I'm torn between Destination's Flame, Fragrance World Legion, and Khamra Kahwa. Destination's Flame, you're gonna wear more than all three of those. Legion. Oh, Legion is sexy as hell, bro. Legion is sexy as hell. But Destination's Flame, you'll wear more than all of those. Love you too, bro. Any fragrances similar to Tigar? A lot of them. My Clone War, I talked about all of them. Black Panther by Alexandra. Dude, this is the, the Bayerly or Beverly. Even if you don't, like, all things aside, like the resins, it smells like frankincense, incense, vetiver. It's incense. It's like burning frankincense. But the quality of it, that's that's the whole thing. That's what I'm trying to say. The quality of this is crazy. I cannot believe the quality of this for 25 bucks. But anyways, back to the question. Uh, Black Panther and Afnan's Tarathi Blue. Those are the best ones for now. Best Ani clone, Ghost Spectre, easily, hands down. Jimmy Choo Man Intense or Invictus? Jimmy Choo Man Intense. The blue, actually. The blue one is better. Jimmy Choo Man Blue, I think. Ajayib Dubai to the new Caramel Macchiato. Caramel Macchiato smells more like an actual Caramel Macchiato, whereas Ajayib Dubai smells like Cappuccino. They're, they're different. They're both good. If you like if you like Cappuccino, you're going to like Ajayib Dubai. I don't like Cappuccinos. Oops, sorry. I don't like Cappuccinos. And Caramel Macchiato, I like Caramel Macchiatos. So obviously, I'm going to like the Caramel Macchiato more. But if you, like I said, whichever one you like more, go for that one. Cappuccino, straight up like syrupy, um, syrupy, fragrance. Uh, Syrupy fragrance. Syrupy vanilla and uh, coffee. That's what you like. Axon Ultimate. Axon Ultimate. Do I have a code with Alexandria Fragrances? Vicky? I don't think so, but I can make one happen. Let me just see if they can activate it. For Ramadan. Give me one second, guys. All right, we'll see. Hopefully, we can get an answer. Um, <clears throat> are Laverne perfumes any good? I think so. I think so. I think Laverne perfumes are, are pretty good. Blue Laverne, I actually enjoyed quite a bit I enjoyed this one quite a bit smells like Dylan blue mixed with like um Allure Homme edition Blanche Phantom 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 is not gonna be for everybody it's like rosy leather peppery but my favorite one out of them all for sure 
King Tobacco. King Tobacco. This is like a twist on Zerzhov Naxos. And it's 150 ml, I think. Yeah, golden tobacco, honey. It's, it's really nice, man. This is a really nice fragrance called King Tobacco. It's not the longest lasting in the world. It'll give you like seven, eight hours, but it still smells really good. And this is the season for this. This is the season, springtime. Best Paco Rabanne Phantom, Dark Knight by Alexandria Fragrances. Oh shit, you just took the Clone War, bro. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Andy, I'm gonna stop answering your questions, dog. <laughs> uh, I don't have Liam Gray, bro. So I can't tell you which is the best for uh, Grishon L. But if, when I do do the Clone War for that one, I will get Liam Gray. I got my PDM Perseus today, and it's great in my opinion. Grant, I'm happy you're enjoying it, bro, but I don't, I haven't smelled it yet. How, bro? Way too busy. I might just go ahead and pick it up. What does it smell like to you guys? Let's see. Oh, Terry Dermes, Elysium vibes. All right. Greenlee clone, yes, there is. Yes, there is. One second. Fire of God is really good, Mark. Mark, it's excellent. Greenly clone. There's one by Fragrance World called Midori, M-I-D-O-R-I. -I, and there's another one that they just came out with. I'm looking for the bottle. One second. So many bottles. Those giveaways need to start coming in by the buttload or so. I might start a series of just saying, here, fragrances to give away. Seriously. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Greenly clone. It's called... I'm sorry, but where is it? Give me one second, guys. Here it is. It's called Ather. A-E-T-H-E-R. By French Avenue. A-E-T-H-E-R. Let me see. Ather. This is it. Oud Nejd for the gentleman asking, where did I put it? Here it is. Well, it's just called Nejd by Arabian Oud. This one right here by Arabian Oud. It's like straight up Cambodia Oud, bro. Skanky as hell. Whoo. No, this is Indian Oud. This is Indian Oud. I mean, bro, it's just straight up Indian Oud and Amber. So if that's what you're into, you're going to like it then. All right, going to take a couple more questions and wrap this up. Fragrance World Midori is a good clone. The other one I mentioned is also new. I have not tried Perfect Oud. Mango coconut, bro, I, I got you. Maybe not the mango, but my fragrance coconut daiquiri is the coconut. If you guys haven't tried this, this is the season to start getting coconut daiquiri. This is my collab with Sphinx Fragrances. So sphinxfragrances.com, you can use code aromatics. I think it gives you 15% off. Uh, it's 150 bucks, but after 15% off, it's 130. This will last you, I spray it about six to eight times. It lasts me 10 hours. It's uh, lemon, lime, sugar, coconut, rum, uh, musky in the dry down. It gets into like this uh, very consistent, rich coconut, vanilla, cream, essentially, in the dry down. But in the opening, it's like wine cooler vibes, like pina colada without the pineapple. I love this stuff. Genuinely love this stuff. I take it on vacation. So coconut daiquiri with K's. K-O-K-O. -K -O -K -O. Coconut Daiquiri. If you guys are interested in any of these fragrances that I mentioned after this live, like I said, I'm going to be going into the uh, description and putting down almost, I'm going to try and remember all the ones I talked about, but I'll just put it down and let you guys know which ones are good. Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford Clone. Uh, nothing, there isn't an actual distinctive one, but check out Laudano Nero by Tiziana Terenzi. L-A-U-D-A-N-O and then space Nero. Thanks for the live streams. Congrats on 60K. Hard work pays off. Thank you, Ben. Passion, baby. Passion. Traffic, all good, man. You made it, though. Thanks for coming, bro.
Liquid Brune better be available by the end of March. <laughs> uh, honestly, if I had a clone for it, John, I'd tell you, but I don't think I haven't smelled anything like it personally. I'm trying to think if Qaid uh, al-Fursan Ultimate is not like it. But anyways. Oh my God, Sammy. Should I even talk about this comment? Best Muslim smelling fragrance for... <laughs> what does that mean, bro? What does that mean, dog? Here you go, bro. Here. It's called Beverly. <laughs> Check this one out. It's called Beverly. All bullshit aside. It smells like frankincense. It smells like uh, Olibanum incense, Ramadan vibes. Beverly. It's 25 bucks on BenadirFragrance.com. BenadirFragrance.com. Code Aromatics. It's like 22 bucks. It smells pretty Muslim, bro. That's pretty, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's funny, bro. Um, Banana Republic, Tobacco, and Taco Bean. I think those are pretty weak, especially nowadays where you can get much better fragrances than those. But no, I don't. Mm. No, but you can get the Tom Ford inspired by the Safari fragrances by Fragrance World. There's Safari. It's called Safari. Is it called Safari Elixir? Let me just double check so I don't put you in the wrong path. This is going to be the last question. Listen, you guys, forgive me. I just got back home. I haven't put my mind to like where my stuff is. By the way, this is Ombre Nomad. It's called Don Vintage Oud. Don Vintage Oud. It's a really good one too. Don Vintage Oud. This is by Fragrance World. Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton. One of the safaris is a tobacco one, okay? It's called Safari by Fragrance World. I covered all of them in the event. And you should see it. But that one, oh, there it is. But no, here, this one. This will last much longer, bro. It's called Vinny and Tobacco. Vinny and Tobacco by Fragrance World. Yeah, it'll it'll blow that out of the water. Here before 100K. God willing, that comes, bro. I'll be so freaking happy when that comes out. I want, you know what? You know what, bro? You guys, let's get us to 100K. How about this? I will do, I swear to God. I will do a 30 bottle giveaway to one winner, to one winner, because it'll be worth it at that point. A 30 bottle, and not no garbage. I'll, I'll put in some, some bangers, bro. I'll put in some bangers. 30 fragrance giveaway. Let's get to 100K. <laughs> 100K, 30 fragrance giveaway for the first person. For the second person, we'll do like freaking 300 bucks to Joma Shop. Let me write this down so I don't forget. And honestly, it's not as like a bribe. It's more so as appreciation, honestly. 30 frag giveaway, $300 to Joma Shop. And then like this third winner will get like, what? Like 150 to Joma Shop. Or whatever discounter has like good fragrances. Or fragrance by CA. Joma Shop probably, but or fragrance by CA. So there you go. Let's get us to 100K. 30 fragrances for the first winner, 300 for Joma Shop, second winner, 150 for the third winner. I'm pumped. <laughs> I just want to see the reactions that gets. So let's see, 100K giveaway. I don't know if that's enough, but we'll see. Anyways. Um, thank you, Vicky. I love you for, oh, sorry. <laughs> I love you for that, seriously. I didn't get a response either yet, but we can make it happen, I'm sure. You need bad wrecks? I got you, please don't visit. <laughs> All right, you guys, best cherry tobacco leather fragrance. I don't think it's a cherry tobacco leather, but, oh, actually, yeah. Guerlain Low Medial Extreme, period, plain and simple. I personally get a little bit of a cherry vibe from our Moth Hunter Killer. I get a cherry vibe in it. It's tobacco, sexy. I like our Moth Hunter Killer, red, but uh, Guerlain Low Medial Extreme, sexy fragrance. I haven't found any Moth Stone. Happy Ramadan to all of you guys as well. Divina Asylum did not get discontinued, but rather it's going to be in productions very this year, hopefully. Perfu, what's happening, baby? How you doing, man? Always good to see you, bro. Uh, inshallah, inshallah. All right, guys. God bless you guys. Thank you guys for being here. So my friends by Canada, I got you, bro. Thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. And until the next live stream. Oh, 
BDK Rouge smoking. Yes. Um, what is it? Francique. Yeah. 107.9, I think. FM radio. Peace out, guys. <laughs> I'll see you.